19. Seen Jill? Is he on tonight? He's supposed to be. He's on another bender. That's it for him. I'm so sorry for him sometimes. The world never runs into suckers, does it? Hope not. I'm suckers are making my car peanuts. Mine too. <laughs> Show's on the web. What a shocker. This Brazilian chick wants to jump my bones. How do you say bring it on in Spanish? It's Portuguese. Sheldon's looking for you. You were back on the floor 20 minutes ago. Right. Okay. Uh... Almost didn't let me come out with you tonight because he says you're a bad influence. That's because I don't take any crap. Uh, no, actually, it's because the last time I went out with you, I got like totally trashed, and then I was hung over for almost a week. <laughs> you had fun, though, didn't you? I want you. Nobody cares, freak. You want me a drink? Go, pay up. I know where you live. NASCAR. It's on all the TVs in hell. All they do is go round and round in circles every day. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about my Jeff Gordon dream? <gasps> it's the day before our wedding. He's in this really bad crash. Car flips over. Pieces go flying off. Everybody's like, oh, my God, is he dead? But just then, through the smoke, I see somebody climbing out, and it's him. Oh. He takes his helmet off. And he is fine. Just a little banged up. So sexy. Honey, you need help. Tell me about it. I just want you to <laughs> no, he's gone, baby. Let him go. <laughs> Come on, you and me. I might uh, need another drink first. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pretending that you're oh so shy, shy, shy. I'm a natural man, doing what I can. My temperature is running high, running high. Friday night, no one inside. Girl, we got so much to share, share, share. Talking's fine if you got the time, but I ain't got the time to spare. We should go to Las Vegas this summer. Rent a fancy hotel room. Go out gambling every night. Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, there's uh, one problem. What's that? I'm married, Tanya. So are you, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thank you. Good night. Mama? You're supposed to be asleep. I have a big test tomorrow. 
Mr. Gillis always puts in these trick questions. <laughs> I hate him. What do you think? <laughs> Where do you go with Cindy? No place special. Basically, we just go out and make fools of ourselves in front of total strangers. Why? Because being an adult is boring sometimes. How come Dad never goes? Because he has his friends and I have mine. Sleep. girlfriend make a pass at him sometime when you're not there. If he turns her down, you know you can trust him. I reached a personal milestone the other day. Oh. Twelve months, no sex. Yeah. Calendar year. I register my car more often than I sleep with a guy. What you need is a computer. What I need is a man beast with a cabin on a lake and time to burn. Well, get computer, get man beast. Plug in, baby. Singles bar the new millennium, the internet. Where'd you read that? Eh, some magazine. <laughs> Watch your fingers. I don't even want to know what you're up to online. No, you don't. Believe me. Did I go to Vegas or Atlantic City for vacation? Atlantic City, definitely. Do you know any good places to stay? Golden Treasure Casino. You'll like it. You've been there? Hmm. I'm part owner. Wow. You must be rich. <laughs> I do. Okay. Thanks for the help. Wow. You're welcome, sexy kitten. What do you do? Nothing. Just... You're up early. Dallas won. What was the score? 2014. Well, we're 50 bucks richer. That's not bad, is it? Can we move back to Rhode Island? Teddy. It's better there. I can't. Why not? Teddy, we've been over this. My job's here, I'm stuck. You can go back and live with your mom if you want to. If that's what you want to do. You're not stuck. You just like it here. You? Six feet, athletic, handsome. <sighs> and hung like a workhorse, right? How old are you? 27. 27, blonde, petite. Mm, come to papa. How old are you? Mm. Forty. 
Maybe I'll look you up when I come to Atlantic City. Maybe you should. Are you as hot as you sound? Hot and horny. Picture, please. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Are you a pervert? <laughs> Definitely. Mom, will you dry my hair like Christina Aguilera? Uh, plug in the dryer. I'll be there in a minute. What's your real name? Joe. Good talking to you, Joe. I'm Tanya. Email me sometime. You seem nice. That's it? What happened to Adam Horny? You email me, I'll reply. Okay. I just did. I got your picture last night. Is that really you? You were on that damn computer again, weren't you? Hey, Mark. Hey, Joe. Your numbers come up on Lucky 7 or something? What is it? I met someone. That's great, Joe. Good for you. Where'd you meet her? Online. Oh, say strip club. Please say strip club online, Joe. Come on. I know, I know, but this is different. Been emailing back and forth a couple of weeks now. You know how when you just click with somebody? She's smart, she's funny, looks like a supermodel. Not that that matter. Before you go all in on this girl, will you do me a favor? Meet her in person first? I'm not stupid. I can't keep doing this. I need to meet you. I need to know you're real. Soon, Joe. Be patient. Keep saying that. I'm tired of being patient. I'm not waiting anymore. What's that supposed to mean? It means... No more email until I meet you face to face. as you can without going over. House is anything under 17. That includes a soft seven. Oh, my God. Hi. And I'm standing here explaining the damn rules. I know. I'm thinking I'm Joe. It's me. What are you doing here? You said you needed to see me. See? I'm real, Joe. Are you ever? <laughs> How do you do?
I'm married. Okay. Are you happy? I'm sitting in a coffee shop in Atlantic City with a man I met online. Take a wild guess. And I have a daughter. Molly. If this changes things for you, I understand. And I won't think any less of you, I swear. I just didn't want to start this out on a lie. I wanted you to know what you were getting into. Okay. You told me. Did I scare you away? I'm still sitting here, aren't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Turn your head. Mm -hmm. To the side, I want to see. Do you know who you remind me of? Don't laugh. Steve McQueen. <laughs> yeah, if your hair were shorter. Huh. Who do I look like? Let me see. You look like a cross between Michelle Pfeiffer and Melanie Griffith. for coming here. I hope you're not disappointed. Not in the least. Now what? You tell me. You tell me. Take me upstairs. cheated on anybody before makes me feel weird do you think I'm a slut hell no if he was taking care of your heart you wouldn't be here look at you I'm a brat. So how long have you owned the casino? No. The casino. Mm -hmm. Well. I don't actually own the place. I'm a pit boss. I work here. But you said... I was building myself up for fun, you know. I never really thought we'd meet. Especially... You're not rich? Oh, no, ma'am. Uh, let's say this is bankruptcy. Well, that's me right there, teetering on the brink. Uh, Guess this changes things for you, huh? What the hell do you think? I just made the worst mistake of my life. I never want to hear from you again, ever. Understand? Okay. I never came here. Whatever you say. Gotcha. So, don't know what you want to see first. There's a bar over there that plays pretty good country western, if you like country. Were you a cop? How'd you know this? The way you carry yourself. Most guys are all slouched over when they walk. Not you, you. 
Shoulders back, chin up, in control. Definitely law enforcement. Yeah. Something happened. Say that. You want to talk about it? Not really. Enter crosswalk, you friggin' idiot! Why? Wow, you almost hit us. It's not that, it's just... It's exactly like something I would have said. I was a detective at the county sheriff's department outside Providence. There was a high-profile murder they couldn't solve. The sheriff tried to put it on some guy. I wouldn't go along with it, so I got fired. Case went to a grand jury. The sheriff was a crook, just like I said. They threw his ass out of office. Did you get your job back? No. But you were right? I testified against the department. Cardinal sin. Nobody would hire me after that. Hell, you must think I'm a fool. My fool. Molly, that's my main job, taking care of her. And I do wholesale cosmetics on the side. Somebody needs to raise this guy with a bullet. <laughs> wholesale cosmetics, how's that work? Is that one of those pyramid schemes? I just do house parties. It's pretty basic. Whatever you sell, you get your share, the company gets theirs. I'm gonna do one for you. You sing. We've been here too long, trying to get along, pretending that you're oh so shy. I'm a little man, doing what I can. My temperature is running. showing me around. I'll make sure it takes you to the beach. It's really nice. Add that to the list. As much as I love this place, we have to move on. Oh, will you tell Sheldon I'm going to want a personal day tomorrow? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Teddy, it's Daddy. Everything all right? Where are you? I saw you had to off. I'm not drinking, I promise, OK? I'm just out with someone. Who is she? Listen, I just called to say if I'm late, do not worry, okay? You're already late. Look, I'll see you in the morning. He's good. You know, sometimes I look around the casino, all these people, they couldn't have less in common. Well, for some reason, they end up in the same place on the same night doing the exact same thing. Sounds like my honeymoon. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. You don't seem like it. You seem so in control. 
I am now. That's after I got blackballed from the department. I hit a bad patch, alcohol, pills. Took me right down. Thank you for telling me. Oh, it feels so good. Mm. Uh. So how long have you been divorced and why didn't you tell me? You don't miss much, do you? You have a son, he had to come from somewhere? I've been divorced about five months, but it was over way before it started. Susan, my ex, you like her. She got me through some really hard times. And you thanked her by leaving? I didn't love her anymore. I am not a good liar. How's he handling it? Your son? The divorce? Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess. He misses his mom. He doesn't want me living by myself. Uh, he sounds sweet. He is. I want you to meet him. I was thinking maybe we could have breakfast together. That's not gonna work. Why? My flight leaves in an hour. Okay. Can't you call and say your flight got canceled or something? I can't, Joe. I told Molly. Hey. Please. One more day. One more day for me. Joe. Huh. Don't ever ask me to choose between you and my daughter. You'll lose. I'm gonna see you again. As soon as I can get away. Don't worry, I'm coming back, I promise. I know this has been easy for you. You know what happened to your mom and me? We're gonna be all right. You are the best thing that ever happened to me. I know I don't always act like it, but you are. And that was a hell of a catch. Who, who taught you that? <laughs> my little man. My little man. She seems nice. She's married. Kids? A daughter. Reaching that romance with a married woman. What could go wrong? I try and try to stop thinking about you, but it's hopeless. I adore you like no one before you. I will never let you go. I swear. You're a fool, Joe. There you are in the early light of day. There you are in the quiet words, I pray. I've been blessed by the simple happiness of the perfect love we have made. Every time I turn around, when I am lost and when I am found like an angel standing guard, there you are. There you are standing in a crowded room. There you are, the earth, and I am the moon. My desire is to stand by the fire that burns inside you. You're full.
This is Joe Donnelly, the man I keep having dirty dreams about. I don't know. Can you describe those dreams? So, what did you think? Think about what? You forgot already. The video, you fool. Let me tell you something. I will never, long as I live, forget that video. Blew my mind. I'm not even going to tell you how many times I watched it. How about the real thing again next Saturday night? You coming back? Told you I would. Oh, man, I can't wait. Daniel! Oh, listen, I gotta go. My flight gets in at 2.15, and Joe, Joe, Joe. There's something we need to talk about when I get there. Sounds serious. Kind of. I love you, hon. Love you, too. shouldn't have, or you're going to. I think I'm having an affair with a guy I met online. You think I am? He lives in Atlantic City, that's why I went there. <laughs> uh, you slept with him? Don't lie. I knew I should have gone with you. I'm going back next weekend. Can you take care of Molly for me? Danny, what if Mark finds out about this? I just have to make sure he don't. Flight 109 from Pittsburgh arriving now on Concourse 5. Passengers arriving from Pittsburgh on Concourse 5. Down. What are we doing, Joe? I'm sure I'll be mad. I won't. What is it? What is it? Probably the happiest day of my life. I'm not joking around this time, Tiny. Let's get married. Joe. This is big. We're having a baby. I know it's big. Why not? You know I'm not. So divorcing. It's not that simple. I'm sure it is. No, it's not. Sure it is. No. Oh, sure it is. It's not. Oh, it's not! You 
don't understand. Explain it to me, then. The guy I'm married to, he's not... I don't even know his name. What's his name? Mark. He's not like you, okay? I don't trust what he would do to me if he found out. I don't trust what he would do to you. What do you mean? What's he gonna do? Never mind. What's he gonna do, Tanya? I don't want to talk about this. I do. I don't! I used to think about him the whole time when I'm there. When I'm here, all I want to do is think about you. You and me. If we can't do that, I might as well be back in Pittsburgh. It's just temperate. If I can find something, you know, better. Hold on a second. Let's see if he's here. Teddy? Oh, I love thinking about you sitting here. Sun coming in, writing to me in the morning. Teddy! <clears throat> this is Teddy. This is Tanya, a friend of mine. What a handsome young man you are. So, uh, what's he do for a living? Come on, I'm just asking. I don't know. All I know about is BD and H. BD and H. BD and H. Otto, the Salvage Yard he owns. That's how I met him. They needed someone to handle their books. The rest of his life, your guess, is as good as mine. These guys come over to the house sometimes, these creepy-looking guys in expensive suits. He wouldn't even talk to them in the house. Or he'll get a phone call, say he's going to some NASCAR race, disappear for a few days. When he comes home, I find clumps of money in his coat pocket. I counted it once. $10,000, Joe, in two days. He didn't make it doing break jobs. I know that much. He could be involved in some kind of organized crime, you know? Drugs, racketeering, something like that. Pass himself off as this regular guy, you know? I had no idea who I was marrying. Sometimes I think the only reason he married me is because he worried when I looked at the books, I figured out something was going on. Jeez. Oh, you should find me. What? I have to book a room for the night. You're staying here. I'm not having you in a hotel. It's too soon. Think about him. What do you, what do you think he's going to feel seeing another woman in his mom's bed? Susan, you never slept here. You know what I mean? That's okay. You can stay if you want. Are you sure, hon? Because I don't mind a hotel. Yeah, you make my dad happy. Oh! 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 Oh, was that too loud? I don't think so, but it's all right. It's all right. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, my God. What, what, what happened? Oh! It's not real. It's just, it, it clips in. Oh, does that gross you out? No, it freaked me out. It's okay. <laughs> so what did you say to Mark? She'll let you get away. Oh, I told him that we had some sales conference to go to, that uh, we were coming out with a new line of smudge-free lip gloss. Hmm. Not to bite a bulb on the tree, is he? Oh, don't be jealous. You're the one I love. Besides, you're bigger than he is. No. You mean George? George? George. Why George? Because he's curious. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you want it to be a boy or a girl? I don't care. Either way, it makes me happy. Here's what we do after the divorce. Mm -hmm. We bring Molly out, we have a baby, we buy a house, we put in a pool, we be a family. How's that sound? Before we make any more plans, I have to tell you what happened. Mm -hmm. I was six or seven when it started. Thirteen when it finally stopped. 
whole time it was happening, you know what I thought? I thought it was love. I thought he loved me. He kept telling me how special I was. That's why I told on him, because he started uh, paying attention to somebody else, some other girl. And I felt like I wasn't special no more. Like I was nothing. I'm damaged. Do you still want me? Congratulations moment or an oh dear? Oh, both, I guess. You know I'm married. You just told me. Divorce court, here I come. You know, there's not a lot of pretense with Joe. He's pretty wide open. So it just wouldn't take much to hurt him, you know? Oh. You have feelings for him, don't you? Who said that? Don't worry. I'll be careful with him. What are they doing in there? Beautification. Never had a professional makeup job before. Mm -hmm. I usually just slap it on. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, my God. You know what I'm thinking about? What? All the hearts you're going to break. I'm lying to myself. And I'm lying to you. This is never mind. Mark isn't gonna let me go. He'll put he'll put me in the hospital again if I ask him for a divorce. He beat you up. Why didn't you tell me? Getting yeah, something I'm proud of. I saw my mother stuck in an abusive relationship. I swore it would never be me. I thought she was weak for staying with him. <laughs> How often does he hit you? Oh, as often as I make him mad. I don't argue with him anymore. I just give him what he wants when he wants it. Anything he wants? You're still sleeping with him? Do you have any idea what would happen if I started denying him sex? How do you know it's my baby? Because Mark got fixed after we had Molly. When's the last time you slept with him? When? Two days before I left? Two days. Straight sex or kinky stuff? Oh, what? Oh, now you're mad at me, too. Oh, that's just what I need. Another man who thinks he owns me. Go to hell. Both of you. Sorry. Oh, I 
get jealous, okay? I'm a jerk. I lay in bed with him some nights. His just heart would stop beating. I wish he'd die. I... I even had a dream about it once. It was awful. It was just a dream. It doesn't mean anything. I know, but then in the morning when I woke up, I wanted it to be real. Honey, killing never solved anything. Talking is always the better way. There are some people you can't talk to. If he ever lays a hand on you again, you take pictures, okay? Okay? Come on, you're shivering. Come on. Let's get you home. We've been having sex with my wife. And now she's growing fat with a bastion in there. Not for long. I have heard that the loss of a baby can make people crazy. <laughs> Do you think maybe she might need some help afterwards? about the baby. What? That's impossible. Yeah, well, he knows, and he says you're going to lose it. He said that. What should I do? Put him on the phone. Let me talk to him. Are you crazy? Put him on the phone, Tanya. No. Then I'm coming to Pittsburgh. Joe, no, stop. If you come here, you're going to make things worse. Let me handle this. Please, I'll call you later, okay? Okay? You can't. I'm working tonight. I'll call you at the casino, 10 o'clock. Calls for me. No calls. You sure. No calls. Hello? Who is this? I said it was the for the chips and mine from that table. Busy night, sorry. Busy night? Hey, it happens. It's a casino. Should be more careful. Roll the tape back and see who it was. There's a camera over every table. Back off, guy, all right? I know how this works, man. It will take you two minutes. Don't want to know who... Get <laughs>
Thanks for taking care of Teddy. You want to talk about it? Not really. Then I'll talk and you can listen. I don't want to lecture, Paula. You know, I just shelled out 1500 bucks so you can sleep in your own bed tonight. You think that entitles me a couple minutes of your time? What do you know, my sponsor? You know, maybe a sponsor's what you need. <sighs> Look at me, Joe. At least show me that courtesy. <sighs> a friend of friend? I gotta tell you, this thing you got going on with Tanya? Tanya. Tanya, it doesn't take a genius to question the wisdom of it. She's there, you're here. She's married with a kid. You just got divorced. Look what it's doing to you, Joe. I love her. Who is someone else? I mean, she's a sweet girl, I admit it, but there are other women out there. Like who? Like anyone. Like me. I'll pay you yeah, back right. that money. Uh-huh, cool. When there's a theft, they're supposed to check the tapes. That's policy, checking the tapes. Nothing's ever your fault. It was you that called the other night, wasn't it? You were too scared to say anything. You're a damn coward. <laughs> you know, I can't believe my wife slept with such a loser. Thank you for making my relationship with my wife better. We are on the men's, and it's thanks to you, Mark. There's nobody here right now. Leave your name and number, and we'll call you back. I told you the kind of man he was. He beat you up? Yes. Did you take pictures like I told you? Yes, Joe. Send them to me. No, I don't want you to see them. Send them to me. Do it now. this mess. Just let me go, please. I can't. He's gonna get what he deserves. You're right. He needs to be in hell. Are you sure? 
I have never been so sure about anything. What's the fastest way to the junkyard from Interstate 76? Take 76 to the Leechburg Road exit. Take it down to Shannon Street. Not the Holton Road exit. It's closer to the yard. Holton's lit up a lot of cops out at night. Take Shannon to Grant, go left, and then bear left at the fork, and you'll see BD and H up ahead. Joe, I'm scared. Me too. If this doesn't work, he's gonna kill me. It'll work. When you leave here tomorrow, you'll never see him again. Don't look at him. Don't talk to him. Just do it and get the hell out of there. Oh, I'll have to speak to him. Why? I want to know who I am. friend but oh, didn't I tell you we decided to stop yeah a few weeks ago what happened I woke up <laughs> took me a while but when it came right down to it I realized Mark is the one I love I mean every relationship has its problems you gotta work through them so the answer is you run away every time you're gonna be running away the rest of your life you are so smart about relationships. You should write a book. Yeah, maybe I will. I'm serious. Did you get that? Yeah. Tanya Sullivan? Yes. No, I mean, I'm, I'm her friend. This is her house. Come in. Tanya? Who is it? The police. Mrs. Sullivan? Yes? Is there somewhere we can talk in private? It's my best friend. She can hear. What is it? What's... There was an incident this evening, ma'am, um, involving your husband. What? It... Incident? Well, ha... Is he all right? A shooting, ma'am. I'm afraid he's been killed. Um, why don't we all sit down? This is a difficult situation. Um, who did it? 
do you know who did it? We don't know anything <laughs> yet. Um, it looks like a, a botched robbery. There's been a few break-ins out in that area recently. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> what am, what am I going to tell my... So yourself? I know, but I wanted to talk to you. Not now. People are here. God, have you had any idea? When? After things die down a little, I'll call you. Let me call. I love you. I love you too. Are you okay? It's been two weeks. I haven't heard from you. I'm starting to worry. Are you there? I love you. Tell me you're okay. Where are you? Why aren't you answering me? Sorry to intrude, Mrs. Sullivan. Uh, do you have a minute? So much for doing this. I, I, uh, I know it's a difficult time. Uh, I want to say, first of all, that, um, again, uh, sorry we are for your loss. Oh. That's just a couple of questions. Um, did Mark uh, have any enemies that you were aware of? Anyone who might wish him harm? I thought you said it was a robbery. Well, that's what it looks like, yes, but we don't want to miss anything. Oh, I can't think of no one who... Accuse nobody of nothing. Mark deserves the most thorough investigation we can give him. Well, there was this guy who used to work out at the yard. He was messing with the vins or something. Mark fired him. This was when? Six, seven months ago. But I don't think he would have done nothing. Do you remember her name? Sam. Sam Pooler. Okay. Thank you for your help. Um, you take care, okay? If, uh, if you need anything, you just give us a call. Susan called. She asked me to put Teddy on a plane. That's not going to happen. Well, I already dropped him off on the way over. What? Where? The airport. Paula, give me your car keys. This flight leaves in give 20 Give me your minutes. car keys now. Paula. Excuse me.
What are you doing? What do you believe quail hunting? Like I'm worried about you, right? You think I'm gonna use one of those on myself? I don't. Just that you put somebody in a desperate situation, you take away the support system, you add alcohol to the mix, and otherwise sensible person could end up doing something pretty stupid. Those aren't going anywhere. Yes, they are. I'm taking them. Brother the millennium, huh? Little sex job fever coming at you. Do's and don'ts. Don't believe a word anyone says. <laughs> Paula. Huh? Anything happens to me, I put all my things in order. They're in a briefcase under my bed. My worst fears came true. I gave you my life. Put all I have in your hands. I asked you to marry me, and you said yes, and now you ignore me. So I'm taking control of my life one last time. I will arrive in Pittsburgh tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. I saw a par coming out of town. I will wait for you there. I'm asking you to meet me so we can talk face to face and come to a decision as to what we're going to do from this point on, together or separate. So I guess we'll see now where I rate in your life and in your heart. I am still and forever will be. You're full for life. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey, a girl named Tanya Sullivan ever come in here? Tanya? Yeah, all the time. You cop? Me? No. Nice girl. <laughs> nice ain't the first word comes to mind. What is? My girlfriend and I lost a baby a few weeks ago. I wondered if I could speak with the doctor that treated her. Uh, what's the patient's name? Tanya Sullivan. Are you sure this is her hospital? We'll have the sonogram from here. That's us. Hmm. Weird. Sir, this is 10 years old. Ten years ago. See? Oh, yeah. Can, oh, can I have that back? Thank you.
this guy. You bet your ass she knows me. Tell him, Tony. Tell him why I'm... Go upstairs. I'll be there in a minute. Who is he? Would you calm down? Who is he? My boyfriend. Okay, happy now? What am I? Go on, Joe. This is ten years old. Ten years. Was there ever a baby, Tanya? Tell me, was there? And the pool. There is no pool. You said they raped you out back by the pool, but there isn't one, Tanya. He never laid a finger on you, did he? Bruises. How? The bruises in the photo. How'd you do that? It was makeup. You painted them. Who was he, Tanya? Who did I kill? He sure as hell wasn't some mobster. You didn't kill anybody. As far as I know, it was a robbery that went bad. The emails, BDA junk, you sent those. You pushed all the right buttons, didn't you? Go home, Joe. Why'd you do this? Why'd you do this to me? Go home. You're going to hell for this. ordered it all online. Except for the rug. That's from Sears. <laughs> Do you like it? It's okay if you don't. I've got 30 days to return. <laughs> I'm just not sure that maybe you should be buying so much new stuff. Why not? It looks bad. I don't care how it looks. People might think that... I don't care what people think. Well, maybe you ought to. <sighs> Tanya, this is real life. Mark is dead. Someone killed him. He's dead.
Give me tea. Same Joe. See you on the night. Supposed to be. Well, if he's on another bender, that's it for him. Uh, push your bets. Your butt. No. Anything happens to me, I put all my things in order. They're in a briefcase under my bed. Sullivan was killed in Pittsburgh a few weeks ago. It was me. I drove there and killed him. Tanya was involved. She helped set it up. I have all the proof. Take it to the police. Please make sure Teddy is okay. I love him so much. He's all I have left. I know that doing this is the coward's way out, but I'm at my end. I was so blind and so stupid and so in love. Little did I know she never meant any of it. Joe. Mark's insurance policy, a bit of money there. Bored of their life, who knows? Most people don't really need a reason to lie. For some, it's the lie itself they get a charge out of, seeing how far they can push things, you know? Getting lost in the make-believe. Still murder, though. Let me see them! They look bad. I bought them, let me see them. <laughs> I can't believe I'm even sleeping with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever meet a man in Atlantic City by the name of Joe Donnelly? I met a lot of people in Atlantic City. There was a Joe I met, but I talked to a lot of people. Did you develop a relationship with him? No. It isn't true that you were having a physical relationship with Joe? Maybe online. No, I'm talking about in person. No. Did you ever send Joe films of you naked? No, films of me naked. No, I didn't. Okay. All right, I'll tell you this. We do know that Joe took his own life. Okay, Tanya, things get difficult in life. Sometimes things get difficult and you get into situations. You get married to somebody and then you meet someone else. Okay, let me ask you this. What's your online name? Tanya1013. I have Sexy Kitten. I've had a hundred different names. But you had a relationship with Joe. Yes. Yes, you did. You know what? Online is a game, okay? There is nothing wrong with talking to somebody online. There is nothing wrong with it. I have a list of people that I talk to. I have probably 50 people that I talk to. I, I talk to a guy named Dennis. I talk to a guy named Tom. Everyone I have a different relationship with. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with sitting and talking back and forth to someone online. Sometimes you say stuff 
Come on, everybody does it. Nobody can see you. They don't know you. Sometimes you say stuff. It's all there, Tanya. All of it. And a lot of things to a lot of different people. What do you want me to be to you?